Hey, what's up, YouTube? Llama here, and I haven't made a uh, video or an MLB video in forever. I was doing those Grand Theft Auto ones, but there was no commentary over those anyways, just because I tried to do it over some Grand Theft Auto gameplay, and they were so boring, I didn't even want to upload it. It was just, like, me trying to fill time while I was driving from, like, mission to mission and, like, point to point and stuff like that. So those are bad, so I thought the walkthroughs would be a little easier because they were quicker to do. I beat the story, and then I just kind of, like, went through and tried to uh, get gold on most of the missions, which I still have to upload a bunch more I have recorded. I think I finished it or I got through most of the missions. There was a few I couldn't get, but I got through like, how many are there, like 70? I got through like 65 of them or something with gold. So I'm gonna try to upload those here. I think GTA 5 is still a little relevant. Uh, once Ghost comes out, I don't think anyone is gonna watch that GTA videos at all, which um, yeah, GTA, it's like, it was the biggest game ever, but it's not that big of a YouTube hit, which is kind of weird. I think it's just because Call of Duty is like easier to watch and stuff. You're watching like four and five minute gameplays instead of watching like a two hour stream from GTA. Although, um, some people do have good GTA videos. Just the ones who are trying to be funny with them are retarded or they're just like putting stuff up running from the cops. It's like, no, I think if you're going to try to get views on GTA, it's going to be like the missions or, uh, like Keemstar and all those dudes. I think only use me blade does the, uh, playthroughs and live streams too theirs are uh, pretty good but uh, I haven't been watching too many YouTube videos lately I've been super busy with school here and then um, I just haven't had time to even play this game so I am using an old rehashed game here from my uh, MLB 12 as you can see this game looks pretty old and there I get out of a uh, baseless loaded threat there as they pop up to center and I have Batista and not McCutcheon I think I traded to get Batista I must have traded McCutcheon away because I needed power in this game because the pirates were just pretty awful so um yeah there i get on by a uh, base hit off the pitcher's leg there so i'm not sure what the end score of this game is but it was um titled like epic ending or something i was looking through some of my old videos i wanted to put one up against the reds but i didn't know which one it was and this one just since it had the title i was like all right apparently it'll be good so watching it for the first time here as you can see i didn't even know how to like edit the borders out or whatever so there's like there's still thick ass borders because i didn't change the uh crop position or whatever and like the uh, menu settings of the game um, which a lot of people don't do but even once if you don't do that you can still do it in like iMovie or Windows Movie Maker you can get like get rid of the black but I was too stupid too but yeah we're in the what seventh inning down by two runs here got Casey McGee who uh played for the Brewers didn't he and then I think he played played for the Pirates last year and they traded him to uh the Yankees I want to say when they had like Eucal did they have Eucalyptus last year or was that the this year. I think it was last year, but whenever him and like A-Rod were both hurt, they got uh they got McGee to play third base for like a month or something until one of them got off the DL and then he's either in the minors or he got traded. I don't know where he is at right now, but um yeah, it's kind of not relevant to what I was going to talk about here. So uh guess we'll talk about some of the World Series. So we got 2-2 two, two, uh two games a piece here, uh St. Louis and um Boston, which uh David Ortiz has been freaking unstoppable this postseason he's like 8 of 11 with like four home runs or something crazy he had a grand slam taken away from him by Beltron in game one too so he would his numbers would be even more inflated if it wasn't for uh wasn't for that which is kind of some justice after Torrey Hunter missed that one for uh the last series he like missed it if you see like the slow-mo is like half an inch away from his glove he tried to dive over and catch it on the wall and missed it so that was kind of the comeback that would suck to be Scherzer because what did both of his games he'd like the four or five run lead in uh the one game he pitched which they lost it that was at Ortiz Grand Slam and then the final game I think they were up by one run he pitched like seven innings uh did a good job he had like 13 K's the first game he pitched and then he had a bunch of strikeouts um that game too but <laughs> his bullpen couldn't hold a lead for him to save his life so you know you gotta be pissed when you're pitching a gem like that seven innings giving up just like one run or shutout baseball and then your bullpen comes in and just freaking completely blows the game, and it's in, like, such a playoff game like that. It's like, oh, why couldn't I just want, like, one more inning or something get the closer in here? But, um, you don't know. I think Scherzer's under contract for one more year with the uh, Tigers, which I would think they would trade him around the trade deadline unless uh, he's putting up, like, crazy numbers again. But I don't think they have too much cash left after they gave Prince Fielder 200 million bucks to uh, hit, like, 120 in the playoffs, whatever he's doing. He's, like, the... Uh, the fat a rod for uh the tigers so um yeah they overpaid him they gave verlander all that money they got uh i think cabrera's making a crap load too he's making like 20 million bucks a year so i don't th think they could really uh, afford scherzer and then they gave anibal sanchez a shitload of money for winning like seven or eight games last year but 
I know he had a good season this year, but they just like paid him a crap load for uh, numbers that he didn't put up well at all last year. They kind of got the payoff, but uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I saw Tim Lincecum got another deal, too. It was like two years, $17 million bucks a year. So surprised to see him making that much money because I don't think he did that well this year uh, statistically, but I know the Giants kind of crapped out this year, but they'll probably do good again next season. That was just uh, an off year for them. But, yeah, I was shocked to see them give Lincecum so much money after he kind of isn't the pitcher he used to be when he won all those Cy Youngs and uh, won the World Series and stuff. I think he was in the bullpen for a while, like two years ago, and then he got back in the starting rotation this year. Yeah, because he was in the bullpen two years ago when they won the World Series. But, I don't know, I was just saying about the World Series, if I can get back to that. Uh, St. Louis, I don't want them to win, and I do. I was pissed that they'd beat the Pirates. But uh, the Pirates definitely had, a like, a magical run this postseason. And um, Cardinals are just a better team. Kind of pissed to see them lose, but at least, at least to the Cardinals, who are a classy organization, got good fans and all that stuff. So, kind of want them to win. I always like the Red Sox, too. But for whatever reason, they're... Boss, not all Boston fans, but a lot of them are arrogant as hell and like annoy the hell out of me. So, uh, kind of don't want them to win just for that reason. And then uh, Cardinals, if they beat the Pirates or in the Central too. Go ahead and let the uh, NL Central shine and win the World Series. But I think Boston's gonna end up taking it just because their uh, their hitting is freaking insane. But um, I don't know. They both got good pitching. I think St. Louis is a better rotation. Good bullpens on both sides. Again, I would give the edge to St. Louis there, too. But uh, Boston's hitters are making up for it. Not that St. Louis can't hit at all, but they don't have the power guys, just like some of these Red Sox dudes, like Ortiz, Napoli, Gomes hit a three-run shot yesterday. So, um, freaking text message ruining my video here. But, um, yeah, how much time do we get left in this damn video here? It's like, we'll be unprofessional and read this. Not like a YouTube's professional anyways, but... Let's see who texted me. It's probably something stupid. Yeah. Oh, actually, I wanted to respond back to that, but I'll wait until this video is over. That one was kind of important. So, 7 6 here, top of the, or no, bottom of the ninth. Also, I have a cool story. Um, Probably not that cool, but I'll tell it because we got another four minutes here. So, um, yeah, I was, uh, I ended up going to a comedy show the other day. I got to meet Anthony Jesselnik, which was cool. I went with my cousin. Um, some other people, but, um, yeah, we ended up getting there, like, an hour early. It was in, uh, Virginia. I was down there for a few days since I have classes, like, Monday through Wednesday, so went down there Thursday, just, uh, chilled down there with him for a bit, had some fun, get away from, uh, school and all that shit, just, uh, kind of, like, take a break, drink, and, like, party and stuff like that, so, yeah, we're down there, we go to see him, we get there, like, an hour early, um, we had, like, an hour drive for us, so we ended up getting there, and, um, like, there's some, like, short-ass security dude in a suit and stuff, like, by the side of this, uh, because it was a theater, it was like probably like 1,500 people, it's sad, but whatever, we go there, and he's just like standing on the side, like telling some dude to do something, he's like, yeah, just make sure this dude's cool or whatever, and I was like, oh shit, yeah, that's, that's Anthony Jessel, and like, my cousin was like, what, and I was like, yeah, this is the guy we're going to see, because like, I tried to show him some YouTube videos, but we ended up watching like James Franco roast instead, we watched, I think he roasted Trump or something like that, and we watched that, and he's like, oh dude, Franco roast and the related things, gotta watch that shit, so... He ended up, like, not watching Eddie and his comedy, but I was like, yo, this is the dude. And I was like, yo, what's up, man? And we were, like, shaking hands, talked to him for a few minutes about comedians and stuff like that, which is kind of cool. There I do get to walk off one, which is nice. But, yeah, I get to meet him. I didn't ask for a picture because more people were coming up and kind of, like, I don't know, I just didn't want to be, like, a dick. That would kind of get annoying. But cool to see him. And then he was uh, funny as shit, too. So it was cool to get to meet him. If anyone didn't has never seen his stand-up, he's probably one of my favorite comedians. He just has a cool style of, like, one-liners and shit like that. You've got him... Or no, Nick DiPaolo is another dude who is awesome, who has a podcast, so I would recommend checking that out, Bill Burr, people like that, Joe Rogan's a cool, I don't know, actually, I'm not a big fan of Joe Rogan's stand-up, I like his podcast, I don't think he's the funniest, like, stand-up-wise, but I think he's a better storyteller and shit like that, but this video is all over the place, people, um, hopefully I can get some new MLB videos up soon, if not, when COD Ghost comes out, they will be on this channel, I have a new channel too, which I'm gonna just put all my Call of Duty stuff on, because the, uh, Channel name on this one is retarded. I know you can change it on Google Plus, but I've already got all these videos with freaking a naughty llama and shit slashed in, which is a stupid name anyways. So um, the ghost videos will go on the old channel and then this one, and if they don't get any views on the new channel, probably uh, I'll keep uploading them there anyways, but if they do get a bunch of views, then I will just uh, keep this one strictly to MLB. And then I will, uh, if my new channel gets bigger than this one, I'll definitely put MLB on that one. Um, I want to do another franchise before the new game comes out, but, um, yeah, you can see these highlights here, pretty epic, so, um, 
What do we got? Like a week or two for Ghost. I'm getting it for the 360. Buying the ones retarded. We already got dedicated servers for the 360 and the PS3 anyway. So spending 500 bucks on just the console. Then you got to buy a new headset since none of this shit works with it. You're going to be dropping like 800 bucks. It's like, yeah, I don't have the money to spend on that. And if I did, I, I mean, I kind of have some money, but it's like, I don't want to just blow it on a console that I don't need. I'll wait a year. They'll probably drop the price, get rid of the gay, uh, Connect bundle, which would be 400 bucks without it. And then I want to see if we can still use our current headsets with it. I don't know if they have a different headset jack or if it's just some software crap where they block all this shit out. But, um, yeah, Call of Duty Ghost videos will be coming when that comes out. And then, uh, like I said, hopefully some more MLB. I want to do another franchise here. Maybe after the uh, World Series ends, like a few weeks in the call, and I'm sure I will get bored of that game soon. And then uh, Call of Duty only has to last, like, what, like three months or something? Because Titanfall is coming out... Uh, March or April, which is, I thought it was an early release date, I thought they were going to do summertime, which would have been freaking a great time, because people are bored of Call of Duty, but they're going to do it like three or four months after COD is already out, which is what you want to do, you don't want to be Battlefield and launch a week before Call of Duty, because it's like, people are going to play your game for a week, or they're just going to be like, why would I buy this shit, why wouldn't I just wait another week and buy Call of Duty Ghost, which is going to be a better game, so um, yeah, Titanfall is coming out on the 362, um, don't have dedicated servers, who cares, it'll still, uh, Still probably be good, not worth uh, spending, like I said, like 800 bucks on a new console just to get a uh, slightly better connection. And that is it, guys. Like I said, Ghost, I don't know if it'll suck or not, but all Call of Duties are fun for like two or three months anyways, even when there's all the problems. People haven't figured out how to exploit everything yet. So uh, that's it, guys. Um, I don't know, check out my new channel. Link to it is in the info. Uh, bunch of videos and stuff on that, and this is just kind of a random video, but I wanted to put something up since I haven't got to make anything in so long here, so, uh, alright, yeah, peace. <laughs> Still don't know how to end these videos for shit. <laughs> They're always awkward here.